Hey, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make breakfast cookies. Yes, I said cookies that you can eat for breakfast. This is a little bit healthier. It's like a muffin, but it's a cookie and you can have it for breakfast. You're not going to want to miss this recipe. These cookies were born because I love having something to eat after I work out and I don't want an apple. I want carbs. I want like a scone or a muffin and it seems like counterproductive to have a scone or a muffin right after you spend an hour working out, right? So I created this cookie recipe that's like a breakfast cookie, so it's a little bit healthier than a regular cookie. Um, it has tons of flavor and it's perfect for that post-workout snack, but it's also great for kids for on the go in, or anytime on the go in the morning. Um, my daughter likes these and she likes to take them to school with her for breakfast, so you're not gonna wanna miss this recipe. For other delicious desserts and breakfast recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Start by using bananas. Now I love putting bananas in things like baked oatmeal and breakfast cookies because it adds some sweetness and it adds some of that oil that you need without using oil um, and it adds a lot of flavor. So these are banana breakfast cookies. So we start with bananas. Now I'm using three really small bananas today um, or you could use two medium ones. It depends on what size they have at the store. Just make sure that they are a little bit brown spotted. The more brown spotted, the better. So if you have extra brown bananas sometime and you throw them in your freezer, this is a time to use those overripe bananas. All right, you want a quarter of a cup of um, liquid coconut oil. You can find coconut oil like this at any grocery store nowadays. A lot of times it's hard um, when it comes to you in, in from the grocery store, especially if it's cold, if it's winter, it'll solidify more in your cabinet. So just heat it in the microwave until it's liquid and then measure out a quarter of a cup to add peanut butter to the bananas. I'm using a creamy peanut butter. You could totally use crunchy if you want. Mash your bananas with a fork because we're gonna use a hand mixer, but we need to get the bananas started. So mash them up with a fork and then mix the uh, banana mixture until um, it's nice and chunky and combined. Add a quarter of a cup of sugar, one large egg, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one tablespoon of ground flax seed. Now ground flax, again, you can find it, it's usually in the baking aisle at your grocery store. Um, sometimes it'll be in the health food aisle. You, it comes either as seeds or as ground. I highly recommend getting ground and that way you don't have to crush it yourself. Um, it contains omega-3s, it has, it's like a healthier fat serving in it. It adds some extra fiber and some extra protein um, to the recipe, which is why we're using it. So you're gonna mix that together and then you're gonna add um, all-purpose flour and oats. I'm using quick cooking oats today. For flour, I'm using all-purpose. You can use half and half whole wheat and all-purpose, or you can substitute one-to-one -one, um, the all-purpose flour for white whole wheat flour or gluten-free all-purpose one-to-one flour. I love the Bob's Red Mill version of it. It's a like a light blue bag. Once that's mixed, um, you're gonna stir in mini chocolate chips. Now you could omit the mini chocolate chips and use chopped nuts if you want, um, but I like adding chocolate because anytime I can have chocolate for breakfast, I'm in a good mood. I'm using a cookie scoop for this. You can use a one or a two tablespoon cookie scoop or you can make these um, quarter cupfuls. So just a matter of how big that you want them. I'm making them um, two tablespoon size today, but do them however big you want. Put those onto your cookie sheet. Now they're not gonna spread, so I spray my hands with cooking spray and then pat them flat a little bit. Once I have all my cookies on my cookie sheet, I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the edges are golden and they're no longer glistening or look moist on top. Let them cool a little bit before trying to remove them from the cookie sheets. And they're out of the oven, they're cooled a little bit. Look how good they are. They are, you can see the oats in there, you can see the chocolate chips. I can smell the banana. They look absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to try these with my coffee. One of the things I love about making breakfast cookies is that I can freeze them and then just pull one out, throw one in my daughter's lunchbox or leave one out on the counter, maybe heat it in the microwave to defrost it. You can make these ahead of time. I like leaving a bag in the freezer so whenever an urge for like a muffin hits, I can grab one of these and be satisfied. Mmm that flavor. The banana really comes through. 
They almost taste like a cross between a banana muffin and a cookie because they have that softness of a muffin and a little bit of chew, um, like a cookie from the oats and all that. These are perfect. They're a great after school snack. They are awesome for breakfast or for a mid morning snack. Your kids are gonna love them, you're gonna love them, and I hope you enjoy them. Make sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you like to enjoy after a workout. I'm always looking for great snack ideas. All right, I'm gonna go put these in the freezer so we have them for breakfast while you keep watching.